Today off the channel, hot off the truck, the brand new Popeye Classics line from Boss Fight Studios. We've got olive oil, and we've got Popeye. The spirit of the warrior will run forever. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for something entirely different here today is today from the Boss Fight Studios. Usually Boss Fight means wrestling figures here on this channel, but not today, as we're taking a look at the Popeye Classics Collection with olive oil and Popeye. But for all your Boss Fight Popeye needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up DJC Collectibles. Use discount code 8 off DJC. To save yourself 8%. Remember, this is a Canadian company, so the dollars are in Canadian dollars. A little cheaper for American users. Pro tip out there, but got to get a deal all day long. And that's where I picked up a little Popeye collection action from DJC Collectibles. But of course, we're going to do this unboxing and review like we do all the other ones here on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And we're going to start it off ladies first as we've got olive oil of course Popeye's main number one gal gotta have Popeye gotta have olive oil from there you know you can go a lot of different ways and we will have another Popeye unboxing on the channel so make sure you stay tuned to that because we will have all the whole set unboxed here and like I said as I usually always say make sure you subscribe to the channel there you go you don't want to miss one but let's take a look at the packaging old olive oil very light figure as you can imagine a big box here got the classic Popeye artwork on these now Depends where you came into your Popeye fandom, if there is true Popeye fans out there. Uh, Popeye, of course, goes way back in the day. I can't even remember what year it started. Probably 40s, 50s, something like that. I remember as a kid of the 80s watching cartoons. Of course, Popeye reruns were all the rage. They were on all the time. But I remember watching the kind of 80s throwback cartoon that was brand new. I have seen the black and white ones. I've seen really all iterations throughout the years. Popeye, one of the most iconic characters of all time. I asked my seven-year-old daughter this morning about Popeye. I said, hey, what do you know about Popeye? She didn't know a whole lot, but I said, what does he eat to make him strong? She said spinach. So it's one of those things that really resonates. Even if you don't know the characters, you don't even know it, you know of Popeye, you kind of get the gist. And I think that's about everybody out there. But I really did enjoy Popeye. Of course, there was a Robin Williams Popeye movie in the 80s. Never saw it. looked absolutely terrible. Uh, even as little Kyle, I said, there's no way I'm watching that movie. Uh, but I did like Popeye. I really enjoyed Popeye for a good amount of time. And this is one of these ancillary collections. One of these ones, maybe you just need Popeye. Maybe you need the four. Maybe you need just Popeye and olive oil. But these fit nicely on a shelf. My plan is to put them with the Ren and Stimpies. Uh, things like that. Alf maybe will be on that shelf. So one of those ancillary small collections. One of those movable collections that you might have. That takes up one shelf. Maybe you need that shelf. You can move it somewhere else in your collection. That is my plan. But you got the throwback artwork of olive oil right there. You got the plastic bubble inside. Popeye, of course. Got the big J-hook at the top here. Ages 8 plus. Adult collectible. Well, 8-year-old eight, eight adults, I guess. Boss fight there. Uh, you got Sweet Pea included here. I forgot to mention that. It is a 2-in-1 here. You get two figures. You get old baby Sweet Pea. Oh, everybody loves Sweet Pea. Uh, but looking good on the side of the package here. You got olive oil with the mad face over there. She's all mad at Popeye about something. And you got Sweet Pea as well. On the back, you got a big blurb up there. And then you got the old cross sell boss fight doing it right. You guys know I love a cross sell. Always have a cross sell. You never know what it might influence somebody to buy something else. Let's see what it says on the back here. It looks like she does come with Sweet Pea, olive oil, extra hands, and a little hat it looks like as well. Uh, what does it say for this blurb? Oh my gosh, it's a long blurb. A page from Popeye's journal. Olive oil is me sweetie patootie. Oh, this is going to be fun. Some folks says she don't look like nothing special. Not agree. But I love her like nobody's business. She used to have a boyfriend called Ham Gravy, but she gave him the bums rush when she met old Popeye. Arf, arf. <laughs> Now that I got an adopted boy kid called Sweet Pea, what got left on me doorstep, olive oil is like a mama to him, except Sweet Pea don't need no mama, because I am his mama and his papa both. <laughs> I don't know. I love it. I love I love that. That was hard to read because it was in Popeye speak, but uh, it did bring a chuckle to my face. So that was kind of funny. But, except Sweet Pea don't need no mama because I am his mama and his papa both. Okay, well, whatever. Whatever you got to do. However it makes you sleep at night. There's the packaging there. Off to the side. See you later. Goodbye. 
Plastic prison. Oh, there it is. Look at that. We got hands down low. I like how these hands were hidden, uh, hidden away there. That was very nice. It's a double plastic prison. I didn't catch that at first. So we do have that, but there it is up high. See you later. Goodbye. Oh, losing stuff, losing stuff. There it is right there. Frisbee style. See you later. Uh, I like uh, what I'm seeing here. And then you got the Jellica Silica packet here. Great to put on, you know, if you're making a baked potato in the microwave or something, you open this up, you sprinkle a little of that on, and man, you're off to the races. See you later. Very, very delicious. Uh, but let's break this down. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into here. This is just one of those things that catches your eye and you said, you know what? I like Popeye. I'm going to do this. I'm going to buy this. That's what I'm going to do. But we're going to start with the hands first. Why wouldn't we? And they are all olive oil hands. She does come with two gripping hands. Looks like she's got two open open hands, uh, kind of grasping hands, looks like she's reaching for something hands, that's what we have right here. And then of course, if she's going to square up with Bluto, she's going to get mad at Popeye. If she's going to beat her kid Sweet Pea, man, she's got to have two fists of fury as well. So we do have those. Uh, very interesting pegs on these. I wonder how hard these hands are to remove. I guess we'll see that here uh, fairly shortly. But now we get down to olive oil here. Now, this is a very simple, small figure. Uh, I don't know if you really need ultimate-style Popeye figures. I don't know if you need all the articulation in the world to get the point across. Uh, but very, very small figures, very uh, small limbs on olive oil, which does uh, be on brand because she is very small-limbed, very lanky, very long, of course. You do got arms go all the way around. Back and forth, side to side. Single jointed elbows. I will say the joints are not tight, but they're not loose either. Pretty much a perfect mix there. Hands back and forth, side to side. Hands easily removable. I was wondering if they were really hard. Very easily to remove. You just pop and pull like usual. Uh, you do get a waist articulation. Very nice there. Of course, legs go all the way up. She does. Oh, we're lifting her skirt up. We're getting down to business here. Uh, and she's got single jointed knees there. No boot cut, big ankle articulation, and what do you know? The old McFarland toe articulation somewhere. Todd McFarland is smiling, but we do got that going on. She does have a nice cloth good skirt. That does add a lot to this olive oil figure. Looks really good with that cloth good skirt. You get to the head, I think there's no denying it is olive oil. She's got a half smile going on, big eyes, uh, eyebrows going up. Has her hair back, uh, black hair, of course, and a little knot in the back there. She does have her little doily around her neck. I don't know what we call that there. But it definitely does look like olive oil to me. I think they got the job done. Nice brown boots, very long feet. So I don't think you technically even need a stand of any kind for her. Uh, she does stand very, very well here. She does fit on a ringside collectible stand? Absolutely not. She absolutely will not be fitting on a ringside stand. Too small of peg holes there. But very, very interesting. I mean, there's not a lot to this, like I said, but it definitely is olive oil. Her head... How it pops off very easy. I was wondering about that as well. I'll pop this other head on, see what's going on with olive oil. The many looks of one olive oil, and Popeye's right. She wasn't the, the best looker as far, far as animated series people go. Uh, but she's got her own special appeal, I think. I don't know, we'll call it that. She does got the big old unibrow going here. Same eyes, the big nose sticking out, same hairdo. But then this one, she's got the mat off to the side. She's got some of that going on. Like she's got a, a thing of chaw in her mouth. I don't know what it looks like there. But definitely got the mad, angry olive oil. So you can choose your olive oil head adventure if you want to. She can be happy. She can be mad, whatever you want it to be. Then we get old baby Sweet Pea. And this is a pretty good accessory, if you ask me. Uh, getting him, he doesn't have a ton of articulation, his head's removable side to side, arms do go around, no knee articulation, no elbow articulation, just a baby in his baby uh, jumper or whatever, putting him to bed. But he does look good, he does come with a hat, of course, gotta have Sweet Pea with his hat, very Popeye-esque. Problem with that hat doesn't stay, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, you know what that is, that is the power of magnets oh magnets a game changer we've been talking about the power of magnets how about that i love that that is genius we need more magnet technology in our action figure love what i see right here that's how you don't lose the hat i was like how is this ever going to stay on him and bam it's the power of magnets man i'm here for that i am totally here for that same with this one his other head also has the magnet and the other head once again, he can be a mad baby too. And if you've ever had experience with babies, they turn on a dime. They'll turn on a dime at you. One minute they're smiling and laughing. The next minute they're puking or screaming and yelling. I've witnessed it twice in my life. It's happened. So you got to watch out for those kids, long story short. But man, I like this. I like the two-in-one here. And I feel like uh, Sweet Pea as an accessory really works because... 
Olive oil doesn't feel really figure-wise. Almost, It doesn't feel like an accessory, but it's a small figure at the end of the day. And uh, Sweet Pea, an even smaller figure, but when you add all the extra heads, the hands, and that small figure to build that out, that really does work for me. If Sweet Pea was on his own, I'd be saying, what is this, Grogu in the Hasbro Star Wars Black Series? But no, this works perfectly as a little two-pack, if that's what we want to call it. I like what I see here. But now we gotta get down to the main event of this unboxing, at least. This Popeye, of course, the main star. That's what everybody knows. I think a lot of people, they might get the whole set, but a lot more people will get probably just Popeye. And I would imagine Boss Fight probably produced more Popeyes than anything else. Because uh, if people could just have Popeye, that's their representation. I would understand that right there. Got Popeye graphic on the side. I did forget to mention it kind of wraps around, which I think is a really cool thing. Very nice box. Light once again. You got Popeye's name. Popeye there. Big window box. The J-hook. Eight and up. Eight and up, kids. Uh, Popeye classic on the side there. And then, of course, the back. You get the big old cross cell on the bottom. You get the Popeye speak. Oh, this is going to be an adventure trying to read this one. But then you got another glamour shot of Popeye. See what it says about our old friend Popeye here. Once again, a page from Popeye's journal. I am Popeye the sailor, and I am the toughest swab on the eight seas, because I eats my spinach what makes you strong. That's true. Me pappy abandoned me when I was two years old, so I had to learn to be a scared of nothing. And I ain't certain ghosts and evil spirits. <laughs> I got some sweetie called Olive Oil, and I got some adopted boy kid called Sweet Pea. And if any swab squares up to me and says, who do you think you are? I just says, I am what I am, and it's all I am. And then pops him in on the nose, arf, arf. Oh, man. That, that's wild. That's wild. Old Popeye getting after it here. Absolutely love that. And, of course, spinach, most kids, not on the menu for them. But as an early age, I remember watching Popeye. I don't ever had spinach. We didn't eat a lot of spinach in, out of a can, especially at my house. I don't remember ever having spinach, Brussels sprouts, anything like that when I was a kid. But I remember wanting to try spinach. Remember the first time I tried it, I was like, this is what all the fuss is about. I don't know if this is the greatest thing. And I don't hate spinach. I'll eat spinach. I'll eat a spinach salad on a crazy day. Uh, but it just didn't change my life like I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like some kind of magical elixir as a little kid. But see you later. It obviously was not. Plastic prison for good old Popeye. There he is. Got the big old hands going on. Got an extra head. I like what I see here as usual. There it is. Plastic prison, see you later one there, see you later one there, goodbye, and let's get down to old Popeye, and let's look at these accessories first, We've got two gripping hands on him, and man, we got two fists of fury, you gotta have it for Popeye, he'll give you the big old spinning arm, and bam, one of those, oh, we've seen it in the cartoons a million times, but looking good, got two fists of fury for Popeye, which is to be expected, then you get two open hands as well, uh, whatever you want to do, you can truly choose your own hand adventure here with old Popeye, uh, and then you get down to the can of spinach, which is a must-have accessory with Popeye. There's no doubt about it. You have to have spinach. Got the crumble in the middle. Remember, he used to squeeze the can, and it would shoot up in the air, and he'd get it. And, man, he would be truly off to the races. He would. Uh, but good representation of spinach here. I have no problems with this either. Then we do get an extra head and hat with Popeye. And I guess let's look at these heads. Uh, the head that is on there, he's got the old corn cob pipe. Oh, man, everybody loves a corn cob pipe. That was the way to go. Probably in this day and age, I don't know if Popeye has new cartoons out or anything like that, but something tells me he doesn't have the pipe anymore. I think that's probably a fair assessment. Uh, but both versions have the uh, pipe here. You got basically, uh, they're basically the same exact head, same hairdo, same everything, but one has a different mouth on the side. He's got a little open on the side. This one does not have an open on the side. So pretty much the exact same thing. I will say Popeye is a heck of a lot more glossy to the plastic than olive oil. Olive oil's kind of got it like a, a zombie grayish color skin tone where he's more of a pale skin tone uh, with a little high gloss, especially on the hands. I definitely can tell the difference there. I do like the yellow pipe looking good. Uh, it's weird to see Popeye with hair. I usually never think of Popeye outside of his hat, uh, but he does have the hair, a little poof down the top right there, of course. Uh, but let's see, he does have a hat. I'm guessing magnets. Oh, magnets, the power of magnetism. Not just for Magneto anymore. Love, love that. Nice white hat that you always think of with Popeye. Nice sailor hat there, looking good. Looking nice. I really do like that. He's got the one eye. He's got a little that going on there. I guess this would be the, the uh, spinach eating one because it would kind of go in the side of his mouth. That looks really good. Head side to side. Head removal, of course. Arms do go all the way around on Popeye. 
He does got an elbow cut, and he's got those big old Popeye forearms. I mean, Popeye was just made for the arm wrestling circuit. It wasn't a thing back then, but always looking good with old Popeye, those big old pipes of forearms on him. Then the hands side to side, hands removable, waist articulation, of course, single jointed knees. You do get leg articulation, pretty good leg articulation. You can do the splits out there, up and down. I got the big old bell bottoms in blue, got the big old brown shoes. No toe articulation on Popeye compared to olive oil. Man, Popeye's got a heck of a long torso. You know who he looks like? And most people aren't going to get this, unless you're an OG country fan like myself. He looks like String Bean. Of course, Hee Haw legend String Bean had that long torso. Of course, he wore long shirts and really short pants to make himself look that way. But String Bean, oh, some of the finest banjo playing you'll ever hear. And look up the murder of String Bean. So sad to see how String Bean was murdered, how that all went down. Uh, but String Bean, a legend, and Popeye, another legend. From one legend to another is what we get here with Popeye. Popeye, of course, does have his patented tattoos, the old anchors going on on the forearms. Everybody loves a sailor tattoo. Makes me think of Shipwreck over in G.I. Joe. Uh, these tattoos were all the rage, of course. I wouldn't say these are the tightest, tightest joints in the world. Uh, I can see a little kid, that's what says 8 and up on these, adult collectible. I don't think many kids are playing with these. But I could see this with this big arm and short arm against each other. Uh, the bicep being so skinny and the forearm being so big. Some breakage possibly at the elbow if you're not careful, if you're a little kid playing with this. But it does move very, very freely. It does look really good. And at the end of the day, it's Popeye all day long you give this to anybody they're gonna say oh yeah there's Popeye that's Popeye that's exactly what he looks like to me of course Popeye's got big feet as well and I love that these littler figures have these big feet to make them stand so they stand very very well for being little figures you think of like G.I. Joe style figures you really can't get those guys to stand without a stand these two do not need a stand which I really really do like a little size comparison on these I think that was a fair idea another classic uh, cartoon the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles so they're about turtle neck size I guess you would say right there I did grab Alf Alf has just been hanging out at my table for a while now so you can see how Alf scales against him maybe you're building a cartoon shelf with some of these guys together who knows uh, I did get a Jazzwares figure of myself of course uh, it's Cowboy Kyle right here so you can see how I square up against there so not bad. I mean, they're about G.I. Joe style, three and three fourths inch figures, four inch figures, something like that. But definitely gets the job done here. I think this is fabulous from what I'm seeing. It is what it is. And it is exactly what I would expect out of a Popeye line that is uh, better than just your average dollar store figures, things like that. It's a premium Popeye line uh, that's going to work for a lot of people. And like I said earlier, I can see some people just grabbing Popeye. That's all they need makes a lot of sense to me but I am here for this I like what this represents and uh, I'm glad I purchased it for my collection but what say you you picking up any of these boss fight Popeye figures very very good looking figures here if you ask me but let me know your thoughts in the comments down below of course you made it this far don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel turn on the old notification bell as you guys know we got videos every single day and then some and for early access to videos like these hit up my old patreon channel you get early access to videos bonus content exclusive content q a's giveaways and best of all, you do support the channel and all the content that is on it. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And then don't forget about social media. Sir Paul 64 over there on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Popeye and olive oil, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.